Hey guys, welcome back to more Mario Golf Super Rush. Uh, last episode we played a lot of golf in Balmy Dunes. Uh, we played a couple of practice rounds and then we played a full 18, 18 hole round. And uh, we won the tournament, crushed that one. And we unlocked the next area, which is Wild Weather Woods. So without further ado, let's follow this arrow and uh, get to the next area. All right, let's see how far we have to go here. Looks like we're not there yet. Some stuff over here, I'm not exactly sure what's going on over there. Looks like it's a shop over here. Oh, this is where we sign up for the tournament, okay. Let me just take a quick check of the pro shop. I don't remember what was here last. Banana draw, bullseye, cool attire. Okay, we pretty much bought everything we want to buy here. We'll take this just because I know we bought a couple of other bullseye uh, clubs. So we'll just add that to the collection just for fun. I don't know if we'll ever use it, but just for fun. And then we will head off to the next area here. Here we are, Wild Weather Woods, and it is raining. And my guy is apparently very tired. Long journey. Oh, excuse me. Welcome to Wild Weather Woods. I'm sure you're aware that a silver badge is required for play at our course. Were you hoping to register for a round of golf? We were hoping to. Very good. Might I just take the tiniest peek at your badge? And we do indeed have the silver badge. So you can see there. All right, welcome. Head right in. Thank you very much. The uh, toad bouncers at the entryway to this club, I guess. Oh, there's just one more thing. I'm sure you're aware of our clubhouse policy. You need to prove your skills on the course before being granted admission to our various amenities. Toodles and good luck. All right, sounds pretty standard. Let's go in here. Oh man, look at all these toads. Let's talk to you. Oh, well, they're so odd lately. We've never had a rain like this during the dry season. Where's the pro shop? Are you the pro shop? Sorry, it looks like you haven't proven yourself in a practice round. You need to complete three holes in two over a better to use the pro shop. Get out there and show us your stuff. Okay. These guys seem kind of snobby, man. They don't let you do anything unless you have the silver badge and you qualify with the practice round. Good day. I'm afraid that we're not hosting any tournaments at the moment due to the heavy rain. However, we can get you registered for a practice round, which can help you begin to unlock clubhouse privileges. Good start. We completed three holes and two over or better. I'm pretty sure we can do that. Registration is all set. Head over to the gate. All right, let's get started on our practice round here. Show these guys that we mean business. I wonder if we're gonna be playing in the rain or if that's just kind of the environment here. Verifying badge, registration confirmed. We're gonna play three holes. We need a score of plus two or better. Before you head out onto the course, I thought I should warn you about some of the hazards. When it rains as much as it does here, any little puddle can become a water hazard. And there are plenty of creeks and old riverbeds too. Each and every one of them will result in a penalty, so do your best to keep the ball dry today. Good luck. Okay, so watch out for water puddles. Sounds like it will be raining on the course here. Be a nice change of pace from the uh, dry, dry heat of balmy dunes. Ooh, we got some heavy wind coming in here. 13 miles per hour. And I don't think this is speed golf, so we can afford to kind of take our time here a little bit. So let's go like that. Like that. It's a little bit low on the power, but 
It's okay. We'll get the top spin roll here. Make sure we don't uh, fall into the water here. Okay. So we want to go a little bit more to the left here. And it is downhill, so we got to be careful about the distance. So let's go like this. Some super backspin. Oh yeah, we got to get it to spin hard here. It's got to stick. Uh, Alright, nice pretty good. 12.5 feet to the hole. And we got these little guys who are being kind of annoying off to the side here. But it looks like this putt should be pretty straightforward. Downhill. Oh man, how is that possible? It's downhill. And we gave it a little extra. Nice <clears> hmm. <throat> That's weird. It was downhill, right? I'm not crazy. Well, we still got a par, so we're still in good shape. We just need a two, two over. All right. Looks like we're hitting a driver. The wind is 11 miles per hour with us here. You know what? I think I'm actually going to use the special shot here. To make sure we get it to stick. go super shot oh yeah look at nice that make this par three nice and easy okay now i'm gonna give it like even more extra here just to make sure we don't fall short like last time i'm not sure what that was about but let's try it again here see what happens i'm gonna go like way over okay nice bird. i wonder if it's like the rain maybe maybe the rain is kind of like slowing the ball down or something because it's making the course wet i don't know I don't think it gave us any tips about the rain slowing the ball down. It just told us to watch out for puddles. Speaking of which, is that a puddle right there? What's that black spot? Not exactly sure. But I guess we'll find out. Just do standard spin on this one. Just get a nice easy roll here past the tree, hopefully. This is dark patch. Is it a shadow or something? Oh, why is there electric electricity happening? Um. Okay, so I'm guessing we don't want to hit it in that uh, electric part of the bar. And we got heavy wind here. This is going to be a little bit tricky. Let's go like this, and then give it a little bit of curve to counteract the wind. Okay. Not bad. Not sure what happens when you uh, hit those zap spots on the bar, but I'm assuming it's not good. A little bit of backspin. Forgot to account for the wind on that shot, but it should be a pretty handle, pretty uh, manageable putt. And go a lot over again. Yeah, it's definitely rolling a little bit slower, so we definitely need to keep that in mind during the standard round. But there we go, one under par, one birdie, two pars, and we're now level 40, 41. Your special dash improved. Okay. Well, let's keep pumping the power. And... Oh, this is interesting. Why is it saying that my speed goes down? If you have, like, too many points into one thing, it decreases. Huh. That's interesting. Well... How about we up the speed and the power? How about that? I still don't think we hit the ball far enough, to be honest. But we'll see how, how high we can get that power stat without taking a hit to speed or any other stats. 
Let's go back into the clubhouse. Now we should be able to use the pro shop. So let's talk to him first. Mr. Toad. You're a raider, right? I've seen your practice round results. You've got the goods. Let me know if you're interested in buying anything. Okay, we have proven ourselves to this toad, so now we can give him money. Um, cheap, cheap driver. Hit shots that are unaffected by rain. Now that could come in handy in this course for sure. Hits crisp low trajectory shots. Prevents being shocked by lightning. Okay, so that should hopefully counteract those electric uh, hazards that we were seeing earlier. We got lightning eight iron. Petty prana pitching wedge. Reduces lightning damage and effects. Reduces speed loss in deep rough. Okay, so I'm thinking maybe this. I mean, one, I'm digging the the aesthetics of this attire. And two, to hopefully reduce the uh, effects of lightning damage. So let's buy this. And then I might actually use this. I'm not sure which hybrid club we're using, but this could come in handy too. I'm looking at this, this might also be good. <laughs> We might be spending a lot of money here, but, you know, we've got the money, so you might as well spend it. At least give us the option to work with these different clubs here. I'm even going to take this Lightning 8 Iron, too, just in case we need that. I think we're okay that here, because we have another Petty Piranha, I think, Sand Wedge or something we got from the last area, so we should be okay there. I think we're okay on these woodsy shoes, but it's only 800 coins, so let's just take those. And I think that'll be good enough for now. So let's... we talk to you to change our attire. We don't normally do speed golf or XC golf or anything like that here at the Wild Weather Woods. It's too wet. Well, that's great news to me, honestly, because XC golf was not my favorite. Speed golf's fine, but uh, I'll pass on the XC golf. It was a nice experience to try out a couple times, but I don't see myself playing too many rounds of XC Golf if I can help it. Anyway, you'll also find a few, quite a few puddles out there, especially these days, and I'm afraid that landing in one counts as a penalty. So, rather than bombing it long every time, I recommend taking shorter, more strategic shots using clubs like a 5-wood or a 6-hybrid. Okay, so let's change our shirt to lightning attire. And, well, we definitely don't need these. So I guess we'll take the woodsy shoes. I don't anticipate being in deep rough, but there weren't really a lot of inclines on this course either, at least not in the first three holes. So we'll keep those. Now let's take a look at our clubs real quick. So let's swap this out, because we just have a standard driver right now. And then we don't have any more... Oh, we have the three wood. Low trajectory shots. That could be helpful. Yeah, you know what? I think we'll take that. We'll swap that out. I'm just a little bit worried about having to hit it uh, a higher shot with the three wood, but normally we don't have to, so I think this will be better. And this can help us get through water hazards. So we'll keep that. Standard four, five, there's a six hybrid. I'm thinking we swap out this four hybrid for the six hybrid. We'll lose a little bit of distance, but I want to have at least one club that has the lightning resistance. I have a feeling that's going to be pretty key in this uh, tournament coming up. And we're currently using a nine iron. We could swap that out for an eight iron. I think we'll be okay there. And then, oh, this was a pokey sandwich. Sandwich, okay. Increases control on the bunkers. Okay, I think we're good. This, this should be a good setup. Let's talk to this toad here. Welcome back. I'm afraid we still don't have any tournaments on the schedule due to weather. However, management has informed me that we can accommodate speed golf on the front nine. Golfer on our staff will accompany you due to ongoing concerns about thunderstorm. Sounds good. All right, can do that. Like I said, I don't mind speed golf. Speed golf's pretty fun. Your registration is all set. Head over to the gate when you're ready. Even though, didn't this guy just say they don't do speed golf here? Mm -hmm. 
Well, I guess with the bad weather, can change the rules a little bit if they want. So let's head over here. Verifying badge, speed golf registration on the front nine. When you play nine holes of speed golf, a timer will be running the entire time. If time runs out, it's game over, so keep an eye on the clock. Okay. Not too worried, we haven't run into any issues running out of time with speed golf. But we'll just keep that in mind to keep moving. Don't have to make the perfect shot every time. Here we are, back on hole one. If you are unable to complete all nine holes within the time limit, you will fail this challenge. Okay, it looks like we got 30 minutes to complete nine holes. Uh, I'm not too worried. I mean, maybe the holes are really difficult, but it normally doesn't take us 30 minutes to get through nine holes. There we go. I didn't really account for the wind on that one. But, whoa! Oh, that's right, we got an upgrade to our special dash. Really, I forgot. I guess that's what it looks like. Very fancy. Hop, skip, and a jump, and a little twirl. Oh wow, we really went super far on this one. I think we can still handle it. We'll take a three wood this time. And... That was weird. That looked like a very strange hit. Oh, that's right, because we're using the, the Koopa 3-wood, which is a super low trajectory. Completely forgot we just did that, and I already forgot. But we landed on the green anyway, so... Managed to avoid any disasters there. Let's do something like that. And... Yes! Nice! Just enough on that. Solid birdie. Okay, so there's our total time. And then it counts 30 seconds per stroke. So three strokes for us, five strokes for Toad. So you can see our total time there, two minutes, 36 seconds. So it looks like it combines the two. The total time it takes you plus the number of strokes. Sometimes it might be worth it to take a little bit of extra time to make sure you get a good shot. But you have to find the balance there, it looks like. Ready? Ah, uh, now I see how that 30 minutes comes into play now, because it combines the two times. Okay. And it looks like we have to go around here. Oh. Nice one. That's not good. So maybe don't special dash through here. But it's a pretty decent tee shot. Looks like we're going uphill, pretty straight on. So we're gonna need a lot of extra juice on this. Hopefully that was enough. Oh no, it was not. Okay, a little bit more. You gotta really give it a lot of extra extra power if you're putting uphill in the rain. Still got in there. Pretty good time. Definitely faster than Toad here. There we go, three strokes. 46 seconds. Two minutes, 16 seconds total. So there's our time, 4.52. Still think we'll be fine for the 30 minute time cap. Ready? You gotta be careful here. Nice shot. Just hit a standard shot straight on. The wind should kind of carry that one for us. Now, I'm gonna take a risk here. Oh, look at that. Some next level pro play right there. And that was some uh, not next level pro play. <laughs> we missed the heart on that one. That's all right. See, the wind's going really heavy left to right. I'm gonna sort of counter that a little bit. Oh, nope. Didn't time that very well. 
but we took out Toad on the way there. So we'll take that. This takes a little bit more coordination than the regular dash. Oh, can't touch those guys. And a little bit of backspin. Nice easy chip. And there we go. In the hole. Both got it in a minute and eight seconds. Both got it in four strokes. Identical score on that hole. Still looks like about two minutes ahead of Toad. I don't know what the AI's total time is going to be, if that's sort of meant to be like a pace keeper or something for the 30 minute cap. But we'll see where he ends up. A little bit of loft on it because we got the wind going with us this time. And we'll run here, grab the heart. So it looks like maybe the special dash uses a little bit more stamina. It's kind of hard to tell. Okay, so we're really going to have to put a lot of loft on this, but the wind is helping us. Let's do this. Really send it up there. Make sure we get over those trees. And hop, skip, and a jump over this toad. Oh, it looks like we didn't make it over the trees. That's a bummer. But we should be able to get onto the green here. No problem. And we went right past the wall. It's okay. Okay. Still need to give it some extra, even though we're going downhill. Nice birdie. We'll take the birdie. Looks like Toad ended up in the bunker back here. <laughs> He's having a party, trying to jump out of the bunker. Ooh, nice putt. Respectable, respectable. All right, 11, 13 total time. I think we're doing well so far. Ready? Ooh, now which way do we want to go? Kind of want to go this way, to be honest. Nice shot. Get a little spin going to counteract the wind. Hopefully we can land on the fairway here. Oh wow, we really spun it. Oh no. Where'd the ball go? Is it in the water? I think it is. That was not so good. Looks like we spun it too much. Well, we're gonna use this three wood to kind of stay low and out of the wind. <gasps> no, 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 no. Okay. Wow. We got a lucky bounce there. Avoided uh, falling in the water. right next to Toad here. Just a little bit of curve. Make sure the wind doesn't take us down too much. Oh, you can jump on those guys? Uh, we're gonna need a ton of extra power on this. It still wasn't enough. Okay. Oh no, double bogey. Yeah, that one was not so good. It's okay, it only cost us like a minute. So, should be okay still. I think one one bad hole isn't gonna sink us. Ready? We shall see. Heavy wind, you know what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna use a special shot on this one. Try to avoid the wind affecting us there. Skipping a jump. Excuse me, sir. Okay. We're going uphill. We got some left to right going on. Something like that is going to be enough. Nope. Close. It's okay. Still a par. 
That was a pretty short hole, only took 39 seconds. 17.35. Yeah, we're, we're in good shape. We've used just over half the time, we've only got three holes left. Okay, so looks like we want to be a little bit conservative here. Make sure we don't go into the water. A little bit of curve to counteract the wind. Oh, ow. Oh, did we end up in the water? Close to it, maybe. Oh, this is not so good. Let's maybe take the driver. And, uh... It's gonna be a little bit risky, but... There we go. We didn't miss hit that, so that worked out. Got a little bit of spin. And we gotta be careful with that spin. It looks like it's really... We're overcorrecting. Just need to be more careful about that in the future. Super backspin. Oh, look at that. Beautiful chip in. Bogey for Toad. Yeah, three minutes even. Got two holes, we got about ten minutes worth of time left. I think we'll be okay. We're in good good shape here. Ooh, this could <laughs> this could be dangerous though. We got a lot of water. So let's just uh, make sure we get a nice even part of the green here. A little bit of spin to counteract the wind. This is going to be a journey. Let's take our time. Don't use the special dash because I think we'll fall off if we try to do that. Okay. I might actually use a six hybrid because that three wood is a little bit tricky to use with that low trajectory. So I'm actually going to do this. Kind of let it roll. Nice shot. Take that. And it did not roll as far as I thought it might thought it would. It's all right. I'll take a chip shot from the fairway here. At least we got a good lie. Something like that. That'll work. It'll give us a nice uh, makeable putt here. Alright. We'll take the par. 327. So we got six minutes worth of time left for the last hole. And of course, it is a par five. So uh, just avoid any major disasters and we should be fine. Looks like we're going into the wind. Try to put a little bit of lower trajectory spin. Now. Grab that. Don't hit him. Nice looking jump. We are in this lightning area, so what if we take the six hybrid and just kind of go this way? And counteract the wind there. That's what we got it for. Oh no. Well, that's not exactly what we wanted. We'll make it work anyway. So you're going into the wind again, so let's give it a good amount extra. Did not mean to add loft to it. Hopefully we don't land too short of the green here. Okay, so we can do this. Backspin. 
right next to the pin. Easy tap in. We'll take the par. And what's our total time? We got 349 for that hole. We had six minutes left, so should be fine. And there we go. Okay, 2750. Yeah, Toad was kind of right on the mark for the 30 minute cap. Nice. Okay. There we go. It's a thousand coins and some more XP. Level 43 now. Okay, so now I added another point into power and we lost spin. So it really doesn't want you to just like pump one thing or the other. Although I will say our spin is like almost too strong. So if we lose a little bit of spin, that might not actually be a bad thing. But you know what, I'm gonna take some control and some speed on this one. We'll lock those in. Alright. Nice job, you passed. The weather may have been nasty, but you played great. I bet you'll find a warm welcome in the clubhouse from now on. By the way, there's a coach who hangs out in the practice area at Wild Weather Woods and teaches a unique shot. Given your recent results, I think they'd be keen to teach you a thing or two. You should pay them a visit. Learning to hit lob shots. Okay, well I think that's a good thing to say for the next episode. Uh, I'd like to thank you for uh, making it this far in the video. If you could do me one last favor before you take off, uh, hit the like button. I would really appreciate it. It would help me out a great deal. And either way, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.